Good evening. People in one Daytona Beach communities say that they're thankful for vigilant security guards. This comes after they found a gun on a boy at a mainland high school football game on Friday. West News Tony Atkins spoke with students at the school, happy that this all ended with no one getting hurt. In the backdrop of this quiet neighborhood sits Daytona Stadium, a place for big games bringing a lot of attention and foot traffic into the area. Friday night, there was also a lot of police attention as Mainland High School faced off against the reigning state champs, Coco High School. I was looking out my window and I saw the helicopters. Police say a boy was arrested after trying to get a gun through security at the game. When the gun was spotted, police say the boy and two others took off running. This all caused an hour-long delay as the athletes and the fans had to wait for the game to start again safely. I'm, I'm just like glad that they were able to because something like really terrible could have happened. Near the stadium, people heard and saw the commotion, including Benjamin and Christian Leva, who also go to mainland. Honestly, it's kind of concerning just because, you know, we wouldn't want something like that happening so close to not only like in relation to our schools, but just in the neighborhood, you know, <laughs> and it's, it's kind of uneasing, but I'm glad that it was prevented. Principal Joe Castelli sent this note out to students and parents telling them what happened. He also wants to remind students of the seriousness of the crimes. Well, it's definitely in growing importance to be able to control that type of situation. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it could have like, it needs greater significance placed onto it. Police say the boy who allegedly had the gun was charged with disturbing peace at a school, possession and theft of a firearm, as well as resisting arrest. Their boys were also charged with resisting arrest. Reporting in Daytona Beach, Tony Atkins, West 2 News.